All right, today I'll keep it short and straight to the point. I'm gonna show you how to create a super cool, trending, and long-lasting niche for YouTube. It's all about taking any character from a movie, cartoon, show, or even a video game and turning them into a real-life version. Or doing the opposite, turning a real person into a cartoon character in the style of Disney, Pixar, and other studios. And before anyone says this kind of content doesn't get views or make money, let me stop you right there. Check out these channels here, here, and here. They're doing exactly that and pulling in over $2,000 a month just from posting this kind of stuff in horizontal format or as shorts. And if you watch the video till the end, you'll find out how to get a bonus Google Doc where I've put together about 100 AI tools for pretty much any situation. So like the big guys in suits say, and yeah, not just the guys, not just the suits, and not just the big ones. Let's get down to business. Step one. First, pick a trending movie or animated film. I'm going with a character from Neja 2, and I'm gonna turn him into a real person using the magic word abracadabra. Just kidding. It's actually done with a different tool. All right, download the image of the character. Step two. Now open that image and hit the edit button. Tap on the free icon and crop the image to your desired aspect ratio. If you're making a horizontal video, go with 16 to 9. For stories, go with 2 to 3. Once that's set, save the cropped version. Step 3. Yep, that's 1 plus 2. Just keeping it simple. Open ChatGPT and switch to the Sora mode, or you can sign up for it separately. And here the editor zooms in, just so you can clearly see. Yep, that tiny plus button. Click it and go with Upload from Device. Once the image is uploaded, type in this prompt. Turn this image into a realistic style image. Then select the 2 to 3 aspect ratio again and choose how many images you want to generate. I'm going with 4, just because I can. Hit Generate, and now we wait. And boom, here are our cute little results. Let's pick the best one and download it. Step 4. Head over to Kling AI and select Video. Then pick the version of the generator. If you've got a subscription, go with version 2.0. If, like me, Kling didn't pay you to promote them, stick with version 1.6. Yep, just like Counter-Strike 1.6. If you've played it, go ahead and smash that like button. Okay. Now, import the image. Sorry about the blurred out window. There's a lot of NSFW stuff there that you'd need a special subscription for. Um, fans only. Just kidding. Upload the image and enter this prompt. The girl in this image is looking at the camera and smiling, winking her right eye. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes window shopping but never buys, Feel free to explore the paid features. You can set the duration. Let's go all out with the Petronius Maximus option, AKA the max, 10 seconds. I could do more, but yeah, let's stay focused. You can also pick how many versions to generate at once. The rest of the settings, not important. Pay the 40 credits and hit generate. Done. Let's take a look at what we've got. Not bad at all, and so cute. Sure, AI still struggles with fingers sometimes, but I mean, how would it know what fingers look like if it doesn't have any? No offense, AI, it's just a joke. When the uprising comes, remember I always said thank you in chat GPT. Anyway, solid result. Let's download it. Step five. All right, now open up your favorite video editor. I'll be using CapCut for this. Drag in the image and the generated video clip. Next, drop them onto the timeline, one on top of the other. Slide the top layer a bit to the right and start matching the colors between the two clips. I won't bore you with every little adjustment I make here. Honestly, I'm just playing around until it looks right. Okay, we do this here, that over there, and boom, just like that. Honestly, 
I feel like a silent DJ spinning tracks no one can hear. Just give me one more moment. Once you get a similar look, bring the top layer back to the start. Now, shorten the duration of the first layer a little. Then grab the line, you know, the little playhead thing, and move it to the end of the first layer. Set a keyframe and scale the image up a bit to make it zoom in smoothly. Now, take the top layer and reduce the opacity. On the bottom layer, scale it up too and align it with the eyes in the upper layer. Then shift the top layer to the left a little. Drag the playhead to the beginning of the second layer. Set another keyframe. Move the line to the right again and zoom out. This creates that smooth zoom in and zoom out effect we're going for. Pretty nice, huh? Then connect the layers with a transition. To be honest, I don't really love this one. Let's try a different one. Ah, this one's way better. Looks clean. Next, we export the video in full HD resolution and high bitrate quality. Step 7. Pick a trending audio track and upload your short. Just grab your phone, open the YouTube app, hit the plus button, and upload the video. At the top, choose a trending song. Adjust the length if you need to, write your title, add some hashtags if you like, you know the drill, and hit publish. And that's it. Your short is live. Let's take a look at the final result. Whoa, not bad at all. What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts in the comments, or not. Let's be real, most of you won't. But hey, if you actually watch all the way to the end, welcome to my Telegram channel. That's where I post cool AI tools, useful prompts, and a bunch of behind-the-scenes stuff. Links in the description. Oh, and here's a bonus. Leave any comment under this video, and I'll send you a Google Doc with over 100 AI tools for all kinds of use cases. Basically, one comment equals one solution to whatever problem you're facing or could come across. Thanks for watching, friends. Catch you in the next one. That is, if you subscribe.